Okay, so today we're going to be working on this 1998 Jeep Cherokee AMC Straight 6. Um, we're going to be flushing the heater core. Now, some symptoms of a clogged up heater core would be, uh, you know, you're not getting a lot of heat. And I'll take now to mention, uh, today's video was going to be how to pressure test your radiator caps and uh, your cooling system on this uh, 300,000 mile XJ over here, but I rented this tool and it's broken. Only AutoZone. Some janky shit. So, if you're not getting a lot of heat out or you just haven't flushed in a while, um, these are your heater core hoses over here. If you're not working on a Jeep, you're working on some other vehicle, they're the, heat, they're the two hoses that come out of the uh, back of your firewall over here. So, right now what we're going to do is unclamp and remove this hose and unclamp and remove this hose. Now, when you are removing these hoses, sometimes you're going to have a little trouble. Um, upon getting this clip off, which is removed by squeezing it like this, uh, sometimes these uh, hoses become one with the metal here. And uh, if you just get a pair of vice grips or something, and grab onto it and wiggle it a bit, it should free up and you can pull it right off. So the way you do that is just try and do it with one hand here just to show you. But you just kind of wiggle it loose. Okay, once you have both your heater core hoses removed, you just alternate between shooting water in one or the other, making sure that your heater core is open by turning the heat on. You do not need to have your car running. Okay, so after alternating between both heater core hoses to just overall flush this disgusting contraption, I have the results here. And yeah, there was definitely was definitely time to flush the system. After that it cleared up and I just let it free fall on the ground. Um, the way I did it was I just used, I had this on off valve here, the water's off now, uh, but it just switches on and off and I held my hand over it, uh, over both hoses to hold it together. I do have one of the, uh, a small cone shaped thing that's meant for flushing heater cores, however uh, someone has misplaced that. Okay, so a lot of people are going to tell you that's it, just, you know, put the hoses back on, watch your coolant levels and you're good to go. and. Yeah, you can do it that way, um, but I don't recommend it because you're kind of throwing off the 50-50 dilution, although you're not throwing it off by much. You probably will be fine, but here I like to do the job complete. And so what I did was I took the upper heater core hose, the one on the top, and I attached a funnel to the end. And the other one is going down low where the bucket will catch any fluid that comes out. And what we're gonna do is just pour coolant into this while holding it up, and it should just push all the water out and put fresh coolant in. Okay, so once you have uh, flushed fresh coolant through your heater core hoses and have confirmed that there's been plenty of green fluid coming out of the uh, lower heater core hose, you can move on to the next step, the final step, and it's a very, very important one that people often dismiss and end up having overheating issues down the line, uh, is to bleed your coolant system. Because you have removed these hoses, you've introduced air into the system, and you'll need to bleed it in order to get the last of it out, otherwise you're going to have air pockets, and that is a no-no. Big no-no. can lead to a lot of problems. So the way I'm doing it, and you can get you can get special caps that have uh, bleeder tips on them. I don't have that. I just have whatever the auto parts store sells. So I stuck a funnel in here, and what you will do is fill this with coolant, not all the way, just a little bit, and start the engine. Let it run 10, 15 minutes. Let it get hot. Make sure your heater core is open. By turn and how you do that is again having the heat on in the in the vehicle. And you'll just uh, have it parked on an incline, like I have mine parked. And you 
will all the all the air will rise to the highest point which in this point is the uh, top of the radiator okay so what you should eventually see once the vehicle warms up is some air bubbles coming out of the uh, top here they may be very small this can take some time again 15 minutes 20 minutes something like that okay so once you have finished bleeding your system and cleaned up anything that spilled on the ground you're gonna want to take it out for a test ride okay so we are right where we're supposed to be I've been driving it now for about six minutes been at operating temperature the whole time hasn't gone past 210 degrees so we are perfect the job well done and that's all there is to it not much more than a janky average garden hose and a pair of grips and a funnel peace out